Well, he's kind of an interesting case. I talk about him quite a bit to my patients. I did a heart catheterization on him in 1988. When I cathed him, he had very severe coronary artery disease. There's three major coronary arteries, and he had a total obstruction of his right coronary artery coming to the bottom of the heart. He had a significant blockage uh, in the distal portion of the vessel coming to the side of the heart, and rather diffuse disease in the vessel coming down the front of the heart. At that time, the statin drugs were out, and um, I started him, I believe, on Mevacor, and then on Zocor, and when Lipitor came out, I put him on Lipitor uh, to try to get his cholesterol controlled. That worked pretty well. I got his LDL cholesterol, his bad cholesterol, down into the 80s for the most part. In all these years, he's never had any recurrent cardiac problems. He's never had any chest pain. He's never had any complaints of shortness of breath. He is doing fine. It's been almost 25 years, and I think it shows a combination of things. It shows, first of all, that statins work, but also diet really works with statins. When I was younger and I was an interventional cardiologist, it's rewarding to take somebody who's having a massive heart attack and take him into the cath lab and open up his artery and have him go home, uh, you know, doing fine in a few days. I mean, that's, that's really it gives you a charge, you know. Um, now, as I get older and I'm doing more preventive cardiology, uh, it makes me feel good to see people like uh, Mr. Richmond, who, you know, who, with following him and having him take the medications and uh, trying to make some lifestyle changes, um, that that can uh, translate into him having a, a nice full life, which is what all of us want. Good help is going the extra mile trying to do the little bit extra that uh, makes a patient's experience uh, special.